Welcome to a corner tug card set tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 office, and today I'm gonna teach you how to create these super cute wild and free cards. These cards have been created for us by Nancy Wethington. And if you know Nancy's work, she's always teaching us so many fun and fabulous techniques on how to really utilize our Graphic 45 products. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to create these three cards. And then with your leftover pieces, I'll show you how you can create the other three for a total of six. We are gonna be creating these super cute little corner tuck cards. So we're gonna take a card base, snip it down and alter it to make it this more fun gatefold style card. We're gonna do some stamping techniques where we mix and match our stamps. And of course, a little bit of fussy cutting because, you know, it's a Graphic 45 tutorial. So here is just a sampling of what we'll be making. Now to create all six of these cards, you're gonna to need to pick up our volume six card kit for 2022. You can do that by heading on over to our website, g45papers.com, or heading down to your local Graphic 45 retailer to pick up the supplies or the kit there as well. So in the kit, you're gonna get our eight by eight wild and free uh, paper pack. You get 24 double-sided sheets in there. You're gonna get the wild and free new stamp set with six different pieces, which we love because you can use those over and over again the Graphic 45 Peachy Pink ink pad, six card bases and envelopes, and of course the uh, project sheet and bag to store it all in. So, of course, we'd love for you to pick up the kit, but you can always follow along with us with the supplies that you have at home and learn these great techniques. So, we encourage you to grab some paper, grab some stamps, and join us for this great and fabulous tutorial. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to grab your project sheet if you've got the kit. Otherwise, you can always reference this on our website at g45papers.com. Just go up to that inspiration tab and down to project sheets. Of course, I'm gonna tell you all of the dimensions and directions in this video tutorial, so that's optional. The bases I'm working with are five and a half by five and a half. So on the long side, that's 11 inches. I'm taking off two and a half inches from there, and I've got a nice asymmetrical card base now. Do the same with all six card bases. Step three, we're gonna take our Born to be Wild paper, one of them, and we are going to trim it out. So grab your Wild and Free stamp set. From here, I'm gonna take that gorgeous flower trio up in that top corner, and I'm gonna stamp that on a bit of my leftover from my card bases, that two and a half inch piece. It's a nice heavy duty cardstock, so it's going to be great for our card fronts. And then take our Graphic 45 new peachy pink ink pad, or any coordinating ink, of course. And we're going to go ahead and stamp three of these gorgeous flower trios. And voila, there you have it three gorgeous stamps. And just clean up your block and your stamp. Grab your fussy cutting scissors and let's get down to business. I do have to note that these scissors I'm using here are a little dainty for how heavy duty this cardstock is. So I would recommend something a little more um, heavy duty like the Cutter B scissors um, I use a lot and love. But as always, when fussy cutting, just uh, roughly go around the area that you want to cut. So when you're getting in and getting all those details, you're not working with a big bulky sheet. Now we're just gonna take those fine tip scissors and really work our paper through those blades. Card one, step one, we're gonna take our wild and free and we are going to cut this monkey card image out of the lower left hand corner. And then we're gonna take another piece and we're gonna cut this to be two and seven eighths of an inch by five and three eighths. And we'll be using this side. Using your adhesive of choice, I'm using Art Glitter Glue. We're going to adhere this into our bottom panel on the right hand side. From Monkey Trouble, we are gonna cut out this B side to be two and seven eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. This will adhere onto our 
front left panel. Also for Monkey Trouble, we're gonna cut out another piece that's two and a half by five inches. And this will adhere on our Wild and Free B-side panel. I'm gonna have my leaves going in the same direction. Step three, also from Monkey Trouble, we're cutting out another piece that's gonna be two and a half by five inches. This will adhere to our left panel in the center. This card is a little bit different than the others. The others do have matching panels like you can see here, but it's fun to kind of mix it up and show you how you can add even more patterns. From your leftovers of Monkey Trouble, we're gonna cut out one of these cute little monkeys. Now we are going to adhere this monkey up to the top right hand corner of our green panel. So this is a great time to be using some liquid adhesive for that and really getting in those nooks and crannies. Step five from Creatures Great and Small, we're gonna cut out this Born to be Wild stamp. You can use some scallop scissors if you want or just leave it nice and straight. And then I'm adding some foam tape on the back of here. Um, you can use some uh, cardboard if you don't have foam tape or chipboard just to get that nice dimension. And I'm gonna put this in my bottom right hand corner on my green, just having a nice eighth of an inch show. And then before we move on and add too many layers or bulk, we're gonna do some stamping. Of course, you could always do this at the beginning like Nancy's directions say, but sometimes we do things a little out of order, out of excitement of getting the project started. So I've got my stamps all set up. I've got my peachy pink ink. I'm all inked up and now I'm going to put this stamp in my um, farthest left hand panel here and I want it to be at the bottom in the center. So just finding that sweet spot and then go ahead and apply that pressure nice and evenly. Beautiful. Our last step is to take this wild and free card and we're creating our little tuck spot with that. So I'm just finding the placement I like here and going to note that. We can even use a pencil if you'd like. Just pencil that top corner and add adhesive on to the back. So I want to leave half of my panel unadhered because that's what's going to be tucking into that stamp. I'm just going to burnish this down and I've opened my card that way I know I'm not accidentally gluing this to the inside of my card and I can take my damp paper, to paper towel, paper towel and clean this side up and then this will tuck right underneath our Born to be Wild stamp. So there you have it. Our card number one is now complete. And then using that same template, here is what you can create with your leftovers. We are adding one of those fussy cut hibiscus flowers here and opening this up, you can see we've got the same stamp pattern in there. So while your stamps are still set up like this, it's a great time to stamp your insides. And then we're gonna be using these following papers. So we've got the B side of Wild and Free. We've got Lush and Lovely as our little panels and all uh, creatures great and small for a stamp. And then we'll be using this Wild and Free cut apart. So let's do our stamping at first this time around. I'm just gonna take off my flower stamp and then I'm already set up for my wild and free since this is what we stamped with the last time. Get a nice amount of ink on there and center that and stamp away. 
like so. And while you've got those stamps out, take another one of those card bases and stamp again because our replica card for this one has the same stamp pattern. Step one says to cut around the elephant card from Wild and Free. However, we already cut this out and it was from Born to be Wild. So note that. From Jungle Gym for step two, we're going to cut out two pieces that are two and seven eighths by five and three eighths. We'll adhere one onto our front panel and the second to our base of our card on the right hand side, leaving our nice ivory borders equal on all three sides. Step three, we've got Lush and Lovely and we've cut two pieces to be two inches by four and a half. And we are just going to adhere these to the center of our front panels. Add adhesive to the back of the left hand side of our Elephant Wild and Free card. And this is gonna go nice in the center, making sure we're not adhering it down to our card base. And then from our stamp paper, we're gonna take another one of these wild and free stamps. This time with the elephants to match our theme, of course. I'm using some Tombow foam tape and my adhesive scissors, but you use what's ever best for you. So I just wanna make sure that where I position my foam tape, it's going to be nice and sturdy and secure, but not obstruct our obstruct our tuck spot so once you have your placement like you like you can go ahead and adhere that down making sure everything works as you'd like it to there you have it and I tuck that in and we have completed our card number two now using that same idea here's what we've created with our leftovers so we've got the same stamps inside and some fun border pieces one another one of those fussy cut flowers and this just tucks behind like so and then to create that we have used these two pieces that we cut out from born to be wild we've got our lush and lovely our mighty, our mighty menagerie, and a stamp from Creatures Great and Small. So first up on card three, we are going to do our stamping. And this time we're using some super cute, fun stamps. We've got our giraffe, our all good things are wild and free stamps. So. Again, this is going to go on that panel towards the bottom on the left. So get some good pressure going and pull that up. Oopsie doodles. I put one of my stamps upside down, so let's fix that. Of course, if you've done it right, you don't need to do this, but here's just uh, something I'm going to show you in case you made a mistake at some point in your stamping like I have and you need to redo. So with all of our card bases, we cut off that two and a half inches from one of the sides. So I still have um, quite a bit of this left over. So I am just going to stamp on one of my panels, making sure all of my stamps are now in the right direction, of course. Perfect. So now I have a nice, beautiful stamp. Now I can just take my trimmer and trim this up. Three inches, so it'll be two and a half by three inches. And I know my panel is three inches as well, and it's, um, it like five and a half or so so I just want to mat this and so I'm gonna cut some of my extra from my creatures great and small and I'm just gonna cut that down to be so it's the width is two and a half so I want it to be two and a quarter and my length is three so I want it to be three and a quarter like so Now 
now I can mat this on my leftover paper like this. Now let's take that card base where I have my oopsie doodles and I can just go ahead and adhere this right inside there. So maybe this was a nice happy crafty accident because that little pop of that paper really adds some nice color to the inside of our card. We could have always just adhered it in an L shape also, uh, making it a nice little uh, cash pocket or gift card holder too. And while you've got that stamp done and correct, go ahead and stamp your second card base. So card three, step one, we're gonna take this Born to be Wild B side and we're gonna cut out um, two pieces and we want our stripes to be horizontal when they are upright, like so. So we're going to need to cut those to be five and three eighths by two and seven eighths. That way we'll have our nice horizontal stripes. And then adhere those to your card. With Creatures Great and Small for step two, we're gonna cut this to be two inches by four and a half. Center those on your card base. Now we're going to take our Into the Wild Giraffe card and we want to put adhesive on the back of the left-hand side. So I'm just holding where I don't want adhesive and putting my adhesive halfway there and just go ahead and eyeball that. Making sure I don't have any adhesive showing on my back side and voila. Add some foam adhesive to the back of the right hand side and adhere this down in a way that you will be keeping your panel down but also not adhering over the top and then you've got a nice little peekaboo of the pink on the right so voila and now we're going to take one of our stamped flowers that we did in the beginning i'm going to add some foam adhesive here to the bottom of my little stamp of course, if you want to put this in the mail, you can just adhere this straight down so your card's less dimensional. And then we are going to place this so it doesn't go off the outside of our card, but still letting our giraffe be nice and centered. And then using that same stamp setup, you can see we have another gorgeous corner tuck card. This one is starring our wild and free signature paper. So you can see we've taken this area here and then some of that extra from our card base to mat that. And then we have the stripes, this time going vertically from Born to be Wild and the Savannah Babies as our little panels and a stamp from Creatures Great and Small. We did it. We've created those three gorgeous cards and then shown you how to create the other three for a total of six. We'd love to find out which is your favorite of the card set. Go ahead and share your cards with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, perhaps our Wild and Free ATC Tag and Pocket album, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell. We thank you for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting.